Hey everybody and welcome to this week's episode of Fucking Easy Food Prep and it is extremely cold and we are doing a nice winter warmer in the, uh, as I called it, the crock pot. Mel said, <laughs> what are you in the 70s kitty? My mum used to call it the, uh, the crock pot, the slow cooker, whatever you want to call it. We've only got one now because Craig dropped it. But today we are doing a different version of the apple um, rice slow cooker thing that we did a few weeks ago because poor old Mel doesn't really cope with white rice at all. It basically gives her the shits, so she avoids it. So we're gonna make an, an oat recipe. Now, oats are probably something that I don't eat every day. And if you are going to eat them, make sure you soak them overnight. Or in this recipe, we're actually gonna let it um, cook for eight hours, because what that does is breaks down a lot of the digestive inhibitors and anti-nutrients, and just makes it easier for your body to digest. If you do have digestive issues, um, then oats is probably something that I would um, steer clear of. And we're going to add some nice real maple syrup, a pinch of salt, some gelatin, milk and butter, which will also make it much easier for your body to digest and it'll be really, really yummy because it is winter. And this would probably be, oh my god, you could eat this. This would be a nice breakfast thing, I think. But anyway, we'll see how it turns out because as always, I'm a bit of a kitchen hack and I just try different things. But again, you know, don't be afraid of carbs. Don't be afraid of sugar. Um, just remember that you want to get most of your sugars from nutrient dense or rich sources like fruits, juice, and then, you know, have some real maple syrup. You can have some white sugar in your, in your diet and your energy, I guess, requirements are going to depend on a number of different things, your metabolic rate, your age, your sex, stress, um, you know, your activity levels as well. So it can fluctuate day to day. So that's why it's really important to actually listen to your body um, and let your body guide you. Because if you're craving sugar, then it's most likely that you actually need more carbs and you need more sugar. So come on over and we'll show you how to put it together. So we've got 250 grams of just plain white oats. Um, make sure you actually grease the crock pot or the slow cooker. So I've just done that with coconut oil. So you can pour that in. Then I've got 80 grams of butter. So just pop that in. And I've got 100 grams or 100 mils of real maple syrup. Yum, yum, yum. And you can add more or less depending on how sweet you like it. And you can always add some more after you actually cook it. Then I've just got some milk here. So I'm going to add in four cups of milk. You can use light milk, you can use full cream milk. It's just that this is the milk that we've got in the fridge. So this is the milk that I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna pop in four cups. We always try and support local um, dairy farmers, it's better quality milk. Three, four. And then I'm going to put in some cinnamon. Now you can just put in however much you like. I'm just gonna give it a good, oh, that's probably a bit too much, but that's all right. You wanna have a pinch of salt, so I'm just gonna put some salt in there. And then we've got the new gel. So I'm gonna make this into eight. So I'm gonna put eight tablespoons of this in. So I'm just gonna sprinkle it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. And I'm just gonna give this a bit of a stir. And then I'm actually gonna put the, if you wanna come and have a look, just gonna just give it a bit of a stir. Stir that up. Just so that gelatin's dissolved in there. And then we are going to place the apples over the top. And that's just three apples peeled and cored in there. And then we're gonna put the lid on and put it on low. And then we're gonna come back in seven to eight hours. So this is probably one that you could put on overnight and leave it sit overnight and then get up in the morning and, and it'll be ready. So we'll come back and we'll have a look at this when it's done. Okay, it's been seven-ish hours um, on low. Now, depending on your slow cooker, I would probably watch this. So like it's probably a good one that you could put on overnight. 
but it may need a little more liquid just depending on your slow cooker. So come on over and we'll, um, we'll take a look. So you can see it's nice and creamy. Um, it's soaked up all of the liquid. The apples are nice and soft. So for me, this is gonna make, and obviously it'll depend on your macros, but this is gonna make me eight serves. It probably could be a bit sweeter. I like things quite sweet, as everyone knows I like sugar. You know, stir up the sugar nice. Um, so I'll probably put it, drizzle a little bit of honey or a bit more maple syrup over this. So there you go, enjoy.